Good morning and welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Well, you know, it is definitely April and it's hard to believe, but our weather is definitely way behind. But the walleyes are been stacked up in the rivers for the last week and a half to two weeks and the fishing's been pretty good. You know, we weren't gonna do another show up here on the Peshtigo Menominee Ocano this spring because we've done several in a row here, but the demands have been so high, people love to see these big fish. You know, and the great part about this is that you can only keep one fish until the first week in May. One walleye's gotta be over 15 inches out of these three bodies of water. And you know what, that really protects the system and which is crucial when all these fish come into these small areas and they're spawning, you know, they're in there by the thousands. So, you know, it really is a unique system and I hope today we see some fish in that 10 to 12 pound range. So stay tuned, let's see what happens next. Welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Join us each and every week as we travel across the Midwest filming 52 new hunting and fishing shows a year. Sponsored by Bartline Barrels, Green Bay Trophy Fishing, Karsten, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Delco, Guillotine, Kamik Law Offices, Comalong, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supply, Norm's A, Vexlar, Warrior Boats, Wings Over Wisconsin, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Good way to start it off. Nice fish. All right. Take it out, baby. Nice job. Three and a half, four pounds, probably. Yep, nice fish. Beautiful colors. All right, good job. Put her back. Yep, nice girl. job. There you go, girl. Beautiful. Well, you owe everybody 100 bucks. That was the agreement, right, when we yeah. started? Yeah, first fish. Uh, Whoever counts as the first fish. Here we go. I got one here. Go. Yeah, doesn't feel like a real big one. A, a real big one, not for this area, probably a 20 inch or 22 inch. Yep, now see that? Chin that fish, yep. Just like the other day on the Wolf River, what happens is them fish try to pin that bait to the bottom. And again, that's illegal Lee hooked fish, so just let them go. We're gonna let them go anyways today, but nice. They get a mouth on that. So right now we're in about 27 feet of water and you'll see some of them pockets that might go down six to almost six inches to a foot and that's right where they're laying. Nice job. Yep, slow her down. Yep, nice job. Yep, yep. Here I'll get it. Oh, small one, yeah. Nice fish though. Yeah, brother. Small for here, right? On the board. Alright. Somebody order donuts? Donuts? Somebody order donuts? Well, I didn't order any, but I'll take whatever you have. Did Mr. you Claremont. ever say no to food? What's that? You ever say no to food? Oh, no, never. <laughs> How's it going? This is why I love coming to the Menominee River, because Brian always takes care of us. If it's not a fish fry, it's donuts. I got to make sure I take care of my good friends. Right. I'll take two just in case, you know. You want one more? No. Are you but sure? just in case something happens, you know, we get stranded here. Hey, if you get stranded, give me a call. Okay. I got donuts. You go. <laughs> Lance? How you doing, Larry? Not too bad. How are you doing today? Beautiful morning, buddy. Yes, it is. Oh yeah, that's a good one, Lance. Pretty fish. Nice job. Oh, you miss it? Oh, there's Whoa. a there's a tank. That's the one you want. That is a tank. Wow. That's a nice fish. Nice job. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice job. Oh, it's something, all them wallies, there's a stack down there. You know, and that is, on that first pass, we were definitely not catching them like everybody else was catching them. Now we changed up some colors and 
you know, that is a big thing, you know, not every day, you know, does it make a difference, but I would say 90% of the time having the right color, the right technique makes a big difference. You know, you have them lower percentage of the days when everything's lined up just right when the bite's on fire, but definitely staying in tune with what's going on is key. Let's let this one Lift your rod up a little bit, nice fish. Nice fish. Beautiful. That's yeah, a dandy. Now we're talking. That is a nice fish right there. Nice. Nice job. Awesome. Beautiful. Nice fish. Go oh, keep them down. Yeah, they're a big fish. There you go. Nice job. Vince first fish. There you go. Nice walleye. First walleye, huh? Ever? Yep. Yep. Nice job. Nice job. Oh, look at that fish down there. Nice fish. I love the way they absolutely throttle that jig. You know, again, just switch colors a little bit. Seem to make a big difference. You know, these fish will be spawning in the next, you know, three to five days for sure. Let her go. There you go, girl. Yeah. Come on, you guys. I love that. You never get sick of catching fish, especially walleyes. Vertical jigging in the spring. You know, it's just, uh, it's a very effective technique and hopefully today we get to do some other uh, fishing, especially if we get out to the lake or if we get out on uh, the pasture go too, where a lot of times we're, we're pumping jigs more so than vertical because the water's a little bit shallower and the fish are laying up on smaller spots. And here in, in the Menominee River, these are, you know, the, this we're just fishing the shipping channel here and basically about 24 to 27 feet of water. And again, keeping that jig, we're only lifting it off the bottom about four to six inches. Now that's probably about the smallest walleye I've seen up here since I've been up here. You know, Lance and I uh, come up and we usually come up right at the end of March and we stay up here till the end of April and we're guiding on the pest to go to the Menominee and out on the Bay of Green Bay. And uh, it's a very cool place, you know, Pestigo, Marinette, Menominee, a lot of good restaurants, um, good places to stay. So it's, it, it is an interesting place if you're looking for to come up for a spring trophy walleye trip, you definitely want to check out O'Connell, Marinette, and Pestigo, the three key places. Come on, let's see a nice, oh, a double. There you go, that one slip in. Slip. How's that one? Now these are mostly all small males. These are all males, yeah. Yep. All males. That's a nice fish. Nice fish right there. Nice fish. Boom. Oh, good That's timing good on the net. Oh, nice job. I love this catch and release stuff. Creating a fishing boat that delivers unsurpassed fishability, speed, and performance on the water is achieved through an ongoing commitment to quality and a driving passion for making great boats even better. You'll see this commitment to quality and a passion for building the fisherman's boat in every Warrior Boat model you see on the water. For additional information on Warrior Boat's new V208, check out their website at warriorboatsinc.com or visit your local Warrior Boats dealer to schedule a test drive and see for yourself why no fishing boat on the market offers a smoother, drier ride, more interior cockpit space, more storage, more room to fish big water in complete comfort and safety, than the V208 from Warrior Boats. It's our good friend Brian Claremont over there. Nice job, Brian. I got one right in the deck still. Slow her down. Yep. Slow her down. It's a nice fish. Nice job. Good, Ben. Oh, get your net in the water. Oh, wait till it comes up. Get the net out of the water. Yep. There. Nice job. Woo! Nice fish. There we go. See, I put your hot jig back on there too. You didn't even know that. 
Nice job. Goodbye, her. See you in a couple of years. See, now that's what I like to see, right? Breaking a young guy in on one of the greatest sports there is on the planet. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix it up a little bit, use some plastic and some jigs, and uh, I'm gonna do a hair jig on one. And that's the key this time of year when them fish are laying down there is to be able to mix it up. And again, plenty of plastics. You know, when I come up here, we're well prepared with every different type of plastics that you, you'd want to use. Paddle tails, ringworms in here, plenty of ringworms. Jerk minnows, for sure, no doubt about that. And make sure you have plenty of twister tails or calins. That can definitely be key too. So I'm gonna try myself a twister tail. It paid to change that to that hair jig, didn't it? Uh -huh. Just tied that one on her. That's a decent fish right there. Got him. Nice job. You know, I don't know if I would have put that hair jig on there if you went to ask me about that. <laughs> Boy, I tell ya, you have got the hot hand today for sure. He's the man. Boy, I tell you what, good fishing today. Yeah, it is. <laughs> what color did you get that one on? Yellow. You got any more? I do. <laughs> <laughs> they all got yellow on. Piece of fish. Just switch colors again, too. Yeah, it's not too bad. I got him. I'll flip him right in. Yeah. That's a nice one. That's yeah. A nice fish. Boy, I just barely got that. I missed like six in a row. Finally, I just slowed it down just a little bit. Only brought it off the bottom about two and a half, three inches. Or before, I was popping it about ten inches. And uh, they were swiping at it, but I couldn't get them to slurp it in. But Nice, you gotta look at a build on these fish. Absolutely awesome. All right, let her go. Well, I'll tell you what, we had a pretty good morning here on the Menominee River, but now it's time to jump in the truck and go meet our next clients for the day over on the Pestigo River. And you know, totally different scenario as far as the fishing techniques that we're gonna be using over there. So stay tuned, let's see what happens next. What we're gonna do here is totally different from the Menominee because we're gonna actually anchor up and fish these holes and there are a lot smaller spots, obviously a lot narrower river, but a lot of big fish. So I'm gonna go up above here just a little bit and we're gonna suck in right behind this tree right here. Just gonna fish this spot. I just put that down in there, pumped it a couple times and uh, feels like a decent wall. Yep, there he is, decent fish. You know, look how clear that water is and when you look at when you look at this time of year, this water should be really dirty, but no runoff at all. Nice job. There you go. Thank you. The first uh, walleye of the afternoon on the Pestigo. Just a small male, small 17 inch male. Tell you what, number two. Nice fish, but you know, it's kind of, it's one of them things when you're up here fishing up here, if it's not 24 inches, or 30, you don't get that excited about it. Still fun to catch, don't get me wrong there. But you're, when you're up here, you're looking for trophy walleyes. Nice build of these fish again. Just an eighth ounce jig, hooking a fat head on there and just popping it back into the rocks. That's what we're fishing right now. We get down river here a little bit, it's more would be more wood and sand, not as much gravel and rock. Just let this one go. Gonna make a little bit of a move down river to another hole. Key to get that right positioning and above these holes here. I'm use my talent and an anchor so we don't slide any farther. See the hole is right back here. Oh, oh. Slimer. Oh, 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 o
That's not what we're quite looking for, is it? Moving my phone so I don't get my phone slimed. A little pike. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Hey, we're after walleyes. I'll tell you what, it's been a while since I've caught one. And some other guys I know are right in back of us here, casting plastics, and they're very good at it. So I figured, you know what, I'm going to grab a ringworm and pitch it up on that shelf right there. And this definitely feels like a better fish. They fight good in that current. That's the cool part about river fishing. Yeah, definitely. Plastic. It was on the plastic, yep. There you go. Nice fish. Not a monster, but just nice, healthy female. 20 incher, 21 incher. Gotta like that. Let her go. Let her grow. See? Sometimes you're better off just watching what's going on, what other people are doing. Don't need to get on top of them, just kind of mimic. Been a long time. Been a long time? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Uh, Got it down. See, it takes a little while. Yeah. Oh, a little more. There you go. Nice. Gotta love that. Worked hard for it today, but here she is. Put her back. I don't fish out here a lot at night. But uh, today is absolutely a perfect day for it. Let me grab the net for you. And we've had so much bad weather this spring. It's just incredible that you're looking at water temperatures that are range from, from 36 to 39 degrees, and it's this late in the year already. Now what's happening in most of these fish, I had a big female on a little while ago, we lost her, but most of these are, are the males coming up. And uh, you know, it's definitely spawning time right now, but the water temperature is a little too cold, so these fish will, will hold back a little bit. And uh, it, it's definitely this kind of weather is prolonging the run. <laughs> Warm me up a little bit. Hey, what do you got? What, what is that? A salamander, mud puppy. Well, that you're on your own. You can yeah. take that one off yourself. <laughs> Look at that, he's got little legs. Now that is something that only Shotgun Schaefer would love, <laughs> right? If he can cook that up and make it taste good, then he's a real chef. <laughs> you know, I just put that glow jig on yours, and which makes a lot of sense. Well, you can see that fish. Did I, uh... Yep, just fling him right in. If it was a big old girl, yep, but that's, what I put on there is a glow fuzzy grub. And again, you know, now it's dark out and it makes a big difference, just that little bit of glow. Now that's a male right there for sure, milking like crazy. So I'll guarantee you that there's a couple of big females laying down there. And I just had another nice one on and I got about four pulls on it and it came off. All right, let's keep, keep catching them. Hey, you know, if the wind died down, it's not so bad out here. You know, I'm kind of digging this night fishing. Nobody else out here except for us, you guys? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. You know, when you're fishing at night like this and you're gonna jig, definitely spend a little extra money and buy glow jigs. And what I have here is a glow jig. And basically what I'll do is I'll just take my light like this and charge it up real quick. Got my men already on her, and watch. Look at that baby in the water right there. See that? Makes a huge difference, and these fish can see that bait. And what we're doing tonight is basically pumping jigs in shallow water. So we're basically pumping in anywhere from three to five feet of water, and make sure that jig hits the bottom every time it goes right back to the same spot. If the jig is too heavy, 
what'll happen, it'll keep coming forward. If it's too light, you'll have to keep letting more and more line out before you know it, you're gonna have 100 feet of line out. You pay, typically, you only want about 30 or 40 feet of line out. Kurt, what do you got on there? Got a nice something nice. You got, that is a good. nice fish, for sure. Boy, I'll tell you, this night fishing up here has absolutely been awesome so far. Oh, look at the size of that walleye. Look at, look at that walleye. Look at the size of that one. That's what we came here for, folks. Look at that. That fish sucked that jig right in, too. That is a nice fish. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes! <laughs> you gotta love it. Hey, woo, I love it when things work out. They don't always work out, but we decided tonight, and I fished up here at night before, and uh, we've caught a plenty of fish, but never really got into the big females. And we've had four on so far. We've caught, got three into the or three into the boat. Now that is absolutely a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish. And look at that jig, glow jigs, baby, all the way in there. Look at that. You got to hold her up. Nice fish. Swag. <laughs> Nice job. And again, all we're doing is pumping them jigs. We're charging them up every boat, every 10 minutes, but we've been catching enough fish. We really haven't had to pull them in too many times just to charge that jig up. Um, and just pumping that shallow water right there back and forth. Again, we're in three to four feet of water uh, using light jigs and just working them. Hey, I'll tell you what, that is an absolutely awesome. We finally got a big one in the boat tonight. You know what, let's let her go. A little release on there. Nice, look at that. Woo! Nice job. Love it when things work out. You know, this is one of them shows we were not gonna shoot this week, but we were gonna do a youth turkey hunt, but boy, I'm sure glad that we did spend some time on the Menominee River and went over to the Pestigo. The fishing was absolutely awesome on both systems there. Hope everybody enjoyed our night fishing on the Pestigo too. It's something a little bit special. And if you are gonna night fish on the Pestigo, make sure that you fish below the railroad trestle because the law is no fishing above the railroad trestle a half hour after dark. Hey, also, make sure you check out all of our social media sites, especially our web, LarrySmithOutdoors.com. And remember, like I always say, it's a great night to be alive. Sure want to do it? You're awful good. Love sugar. You're missing one thing, though. There you go. What do you mean I'm missing one thing? Eight sandwiches? Really? Oh, I love good bread. Oh. How do you know I'll eat? I'll just flip this one in. Just another. Oh, it came off right there. Huh. Well, I don't even have to net that one. Wow. Parking lot's empty. Hey, you gonna shave that beard off? Hey, I'll tell you what. The next show we do, yeah. you guys can shave me. Uh, shave? Well, that How's doesn't that? sound right. We'll do it for <laughs> that doesn't sound right, Mr. Claremont. Just look at it. Oh, no. Hey, Hunter, why don't you nut my fish and film me? Lance is laughing over there. Look at him. I thought he was on his phone looking at his Tinder account. Right? Yeah. He's got that look on his face. He might have a hot day tonight. He looks pretty happy. Yeah. Lance, how you doing over there? I was doing great, Larry. What do you mean, was? <laughs> the boat's getting closer. What do you... I'm a little nervous on what you've got to say. Hunter would like to know how your Tinder account is going. I have no idea where it exists. <laughs>